add one little piece to it so that we can keep drilling all the all of the, the chunks we've done so far. Okay, but I want to make sure to add a submission at the end. <coughs> oh, now, my neck hurts. I gotta go. <laughs> can you use me? <laughs> so John's gonna escape. Right, I'm trying to crush his head. It's not working. He ratchets my shoulder. You know, regards me. Scratch him out. Go. Uh oh. I gotta try to escape now. Right. Keep my shoulder pressure. I can do either of the escapes that we that we worked on in the last week. I don't care if you want to do the crowbar. All right, Jake, if you feel more comfortable with that one just because of your length or if you like the walkout, either way. All right, I prefer the walkout just because I can really cause some pressure on that neck he was complaining about. <laughs> I'm going to drag that leg free. And now as you found out when you when Hector rode the your momentum, if my weight comes up too high, he's going to ride it right to my back. Okay, so I got to make sure that when I knee slide, I keep my hips back. My knee stays under his shoulder. Okay. But if I do end up too high and John starts sitting up, all right, I'm going to come with him. I'm going to raise my chest up. So as John shrimps out and he sits up, I'm going to step around the other side and finish our bar. Okay? So, let's just talk about this for a second real quick. So this case of position, right, or modified case in Judah, case of scarf hold, right? We call this scarf. In judo, this is scarf. This is the modified version. But I want to keep my hips back, my knee under his shoulder, and that keeps my weight centered, right? Keeps it hard for him to breathe, and I'm even being nice to him right now. Okay, but when I do my knee slide, a lot of times you end up coming too far through. And if John rides this, he's going to shrimp his hips out, all right? Create a hole behind me, see? And I've got nothing behind me. John's trying to power up in me right now, which is why my abs are able to keep him in place. All right, but if he just keeps shrimping, eventually there's going to be nothing behind me, right? So to stop that, as soon as I feel him start to shrimp, I'm going to move my weight forward, right? So now there is something behind me, my hips. If my hips aren't behind me, I'm going to fall over. Exactly. And we're in that, we're in that limbo. So instead of letting him fall over, my first option is to pull my hips back. But if I just want to finish the fight... Right? My hips are out. I trick him into starting to shrimp, and as soon as he does, I'm going to take that weight off. So we don't have that connection for him to drive me over anymore. Right? Controlling that shoulder and posting on his head so he can't come up to his knees right away, and I step around. Left that leg full, and I step over the head. Cool? Sorry, I didn't want to fall on your lap. Can you do that step over again? Yeah. So it's just like all the come over here, so I'm not right in the last. It's just like all the arm bars we've done from side control, right? Where he starts he starts attacking, he starts rolling up, I step past, and I return. It's that same motion. I'm just coming from my hip instead of my knees this time. I'm out here. You see, I already screwed up. I did my knee slide. My hips got too high, so I'm trying to recover. Okay, I got to get that weight in, keep him pinned, and then I'm going to roll over that. That knee. Okay? I'm trying to keep my leg in front of his head as much as possible. I don't want to let my leg come behind his head like you just saw. Okay? So I'm under here. I want to come up so that my knee can roll over his face. If my knee is behind his head, when I do that, boom, now he's out. Yeah. And now i got to just transition to side. Which isn't a bad thing. I'm still in a better position. I, I guess I'm back where I started, but it's because I let him get out. You know? Make sense? So stepping around for that armbar, try to keep your leg in front of him, pressure on the face, pulling that shoulder. It's that same thing I was talking about before of separating his head from his shoulder to control. As I step around, fall. Okay, pop up on that knee, step. My knee draws across. I can't step up and then stand up and try to sit down. Too much space, take too long. I'm let that let that leg roll. Come here, I come up, and then that knee. Right under the side of the knee. She'd use more words instead of <coughs> gestures and grunts, but that's how my people communicate, yeah? <laughs> Questions? Alright, play with it a little bit. All the way from screwing up, back into our pass, all the way to a submission. One, two, three. <laughs> 